They're big, they're dangerous, and they're known by a few different names. Today we're talking about hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones. But how do these monstrous storms form? The answer's coming up in this edition of Weather 101. Hi there, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back today to answer another viewer question about one of my favorite subjects, tropical cyclones. I got a question from an aspiring meteorologist, which I'm very excited about because that's the whole point of uh, Weather 101, is I wanna help answer questions from maybe kids out there who wanna be meteorologists. And Liam and my dogs asked, how do typhoons form? Well, the first thing you should know is that hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones are all the same thing. Americans call them hurricanes because the storms that affect our part of the world form the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific Oceans. Now, if a similar storm forms above the equator in the Western Pacific, it's called a typhoon. So people in Asia, India, and much of Oceania call the storm a typhoon. If it's below the equator in the Western Pacific, it's called a cyclone. So people in Australia call these storms a cyclone. But no matter what you call them, all of these storms form in the exact same way. In general, there's two ingredients that you need to form a hurricane, typhoon, or cyclone. Warm water and wind. But a lot of things have to happen to both of these ingredients over a long period of time before they become the big powerful storms that we see on the news. In the ocean, winds pass over the surface of the water. As it does that, it causes the water to begin to evaporate. That water vapor then rises into the air. As it gets higher and higher, it begins to cool off and attach to particles of dust that are in the air. And that forms clouds. This process of evaporating and creating clouds can continue for several days, but every time the process repeats itself, it creates more and more clouds. Eventually, all of those clouds cluster together and form thunderstorms. As the storms develop and get stronger, it creates even more rising air. All of that air moving up from the surface creates an area of low pressure. That allows more air to move up from the water, which creates even more clouds, and creates more storms, and so on. You can think of hurricanes as giant engines, but instead of using gasoline as fuel, they use the warm ocean water. So the warmer the ocean water is, the stronger the storms can be. And then you throw in that rotation around that area of low pressure, like what we talked about in one of my previous videos, and presto, you've got a hurricane. Well, I hope that answered your question, Liam, and good luck in your dreams to become a meteorologist. Just remember, you have to study really hard. There's a lot of science involved and a lot of math. Make sure you study the science part really, really well. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you have a weather-related question, feel free to drop them in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them on another edition of Weather 101. Don't forget to like, rate, share, and subscribe here on YouTube, and you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Weather101Net. Until next time, see ya!